with the mention of the shiny new 9.1 pet that represents a pet charm sync of this expansion, we're all starting to wonder how in the world are we going to get the 10,000 of them? Of course, the pet I'm talking about is the flawless amethyst bauble worm, and apart from looking particularly majestic, this can also be a way for you to get some nice gold in the 9.1, as this little one will be super expensive considering the initial charm price. If you want to keep the little dude, you may be in for a treat though, as the pet is speculated to be getting some special features and or animations. Personally, I'm still not convinced I'll be getting it, but I do want more polished pet charms, and if you do too, you're in the right place. As in this video, I'll be going over how to get the most charms on a daily basis, as well as which NPCs will award you with some one-time extras. My name is Ivona from MomsDen.com, and if this is your first time here, go ahead and press that sub button, as I do a bunch of simple WoW guides for classes, dungeons, raids and collectibles you're gonna love. The first source of polished pet charms you're most likely aware of as a Shadowlands player is the Shadowlands World Quests. Not all of them will always reward the charms, as sometimes you may be finding them to give out upgrade stones or pet treats, but you should be on the lookout for them. The best way to do this is by downloading one of the World Quest Tracker add-ons, and if you don't have them yet, I link them in the description. They do a pretty good job at visually letting you know what the rewards are, which saves you some time when looking at the map. You also want to download the pet battle add-on called Rematch, as it helps you create teams of pets for each particular encounter or situation you may be in, and that's super useful when you're battling the World Quest pet battle NPCs, since they always behave in the same way. Another big one in this expansion is the Shadowlands Missions Table. For this to be a viable source of your pet charms, your missions need to be successful, and for this I highly recommend the add-on Venture Plan. There are a few more add-ons and weak auras that'll help you with this, and if you're interested in the mission table stuff, I have a separate guide on the topic that you can find in the pinned comment, in the description, or in the info card. These missions will award you with quite a few of them for about 50 anima, depending on the mission difficulty. I know I'm talking about a bit of an unfair advantage, since I mainly do these on a Night Fae character, but the other mission tables should be successful at these on higher levels as well. When it comes to the previous expansion, the same thing goes. You want to be visiting your mission table in the battle for Azeroth and sending those missions out every day. If you don't feel like taking a trip down to Kul Tiras or Zandalara every day, you can also do these from your phone through the WoW Companion app. I mean, you could do this for your Shadowlands missions as well, but since they're more complicated, you may want to hold on to them when you're in front of your PC if you happen to use add-ons for completing them. And the same goes for your BFA world quests. If you have it in you, go over to those BFA charm dropping NPCs, get a good battle team ready, and start grinding. Do remember that Kul Tiras and Zandalar aren't the only BFA zones where pet battles are available, as you have a pet battle world quest in Mechagon, Najatar, as well as in the 8.3 Uldum and the Vale of Eternal Blossoms that are invaded by Nazoth's forces. And that's it when it comes to your daily activities. There are also some NPCs that'll award you with a one-time bunch of pet charms when you defeat them in both Shadowlands and the Battle for Azeroth expansion. To my knowledge, those minions include Poacher Zane in Stormsong Valley, Cottontail Matron in Drostvar, and as per Ardenweald, there are Macabre, Old Ardeite, Delphir the Untamed, and Gormbor. There are also some treasure chests across the zones that drop like 5 charms apiece, so if you're into micromanagement you can look at those too, but I won't get into that as much. And that is pretty much it when it comes to you getting your polished pet charms. Unfortunately, the resources are a bit scarce, you'll really need to get to work on multiple fronts if you want to get as much as you can, but there you go. If you found this video useful, leave it a like so others can find it as well, and if you like what I do around here, consider becoming a member of the channel to get cool perks like custom wallpapers, joining the live stream chat, and so much more. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Happy farming, and bye bye!